All right, good evening everyone and welcome back to another episode uh, here on the, my training for exercise in DART. And as you all know, I'm currently working me through the exercise in IO solutions and I want really badly to get rid of that DART track and finish it off. And currently I'm working on the diamond and so I will finish that one off now. And for that I jump inside, read the stuff that we have to do and after that we want to solve that. So in that case, what do we have to do? <clears throat> First, let's read the introduction. The diamond cutter takes as its input a letter and outputs it in a diamond shape. Given a letter, it prints a diamond starting with an A with the supplied letter at the widest point. The row contains a 1A, the low row, row contains 1A. Okay, so that means we have a diamond shape with an A, it's just an A without, uh, without any spaces. But as you can see now, we have one, two spaces, then we have an A, then we have two spaces behind. So that means if we are on a C, then we have um, three rows and then again, two, um, or five rows in total. Okay, that is fantastic. Or we have the letter E and there and so on and so forth. So E is the fi fifth letter in the alphabet. So we have here four spaces, one letter, four spaces, and so on and so forth. And now we want to solve that issue. And for that, we are working with Exercisem, so we can download the um, Exercisem, in that case, the diamond exercise. And with that, I do that here in the terminal. We are jumping right into the task and open it up. And let's see where we are. Prime factors start. So here we go. That should be the uh, diamond one. All right. So let's open that one up. Save that one. And let's have a look. So we have here the testings. And of course, we have to first get the packages so that we can see here. <laughs> That's quite a test. Eh? <laughs> Okay, so as you can see already, it seems that we only receive one letter. And according to the letter, there is, uh, we get an array back with specific values. And as you can see here, the worst one is the letter Z, which is then 24th, or, yep, 24th letter alphabet, and should have here 24 white spaces. Can we see that? I think uh, 25 even. All right, sorry, 25 letters in the alphabet. Okay, so let's see what we can do. First, we start by creating this method rows in our diamond class here. So let's do that. We receive a string A or a string a letter, which then returns an array, right? So, <clears throat> so still it is red because What's the problem? Missing return type for rows. Okay, so that is a list of um, strings. Okay, so let's go to the first test, set it to false, and it seems that we just return an A. That should be pretty easy. So for every letter that comes in, which is an A, we just return the letter itself. So to see if that test is passing, we just say pub uh, run test. And all tests are green. So let's go for the next test. And here it's getting already interesting because now we have space A space, then we have B space B, and then we have again A uh, space A space. <clears throat> okay, and now it's failing. Very good. Because now we just return B. But actually what we want is we want to create a diamond. So let's think about it. What can we do? So for, uh, for now, we know now B is the second alphabet letter. So what we should do is we should have um, maybe a map. Oh no, let's, let's create a list with different strings that just contain our alphabet. So A, B, C, D, and so on. F, G, H, 
I hopefully I don't miss some. Um, L M N O Oops P Q R S Oops T V W X Y Set. All right, it doesn't work like that. Why? Missing return type for a list. Try adding an explicit type like dynamic. Okay. Ah, it needs a variable name, of course. So that is the alphabet. And what we want to do now is we want to check if alphabet dot contains, and I think it will contain that. Maybe we can do that if uh, alphabet contains the letter. Well, that is actually the only thing that is allowed. So if this is not the case, we just return an empty um, an empty array. That would mean if we get um, an if we would get an uh, alphabet or a letter that is not part of the alphabet, we throw. We could also make something like letter dot is or is it possible <coughs> string dot no. Okay, no, so we keep that for now. And what we also have to do is um, making, I don't know if this is a task, but don't get too complicated. So for now, we just want to check in which index our, oh, here's an error, an honest mistake. And we of course have to, we, so. And of course we have to find now the index of the specific letter that we have. So for example, we have the letter and we have the alphabet. So alphabet dot, um, we need the index of, and then we give the letter to uppercase inside. So now we know exactly which index we have, var index. And with that, we know how many spaces we need for the first uh, iteration. Because what we learned is that we have one space for an A, right? And that is if we have a B. So B is two. And it seems that we have uh, for the first row, um, the amount of the index minus one. Not for the first row, for the, um, for the rows till we get there. So that means what we have to do is we have a for loop here. Uh, wait, wait a second. I have to think before I'm doing anything. Um, we have an index. So let's assume we get B, right? We want to fix that one. So if we get B inside, we have now the letter at the position two of the alphabet. So we get here a two inside. And what we want to do now is we want to return an um, four var E equals zero. E is smaller than the index. We want to incre increment our e. And now we say for each i, we start with e. We are now in the first row. And what we want to do, is it multiple arrow arrays that they get back? No, it's just a string. Okay, all right. So for the first string that we want to add to our result array, that I should maybe also initialize from our list of string, that is our result is equal to an empty array. And this, ah, that makes no sense. And this result is of course our result. So, and we want now for each row that we add, now we know the index is two because B is the second place, right? So we will have zero, then one. And I think we have to add this one and have to add this one. Because what I want to do is for each i, we go now first through the different strings that we want to create. We want to create a string, right? So result.add a string. And now we have to identify which string. So how many spaces do we need? So for every j that we have, 
and oh wait let me think about it so we go now through every row the first one starts with one why no that makes no sense zero and that could be that so let me think <laughs> We have a for loop and we go through each i. And i is increasing constantly. We go till the L, uh, index of the alphabet. So we know that the we have to make the first row a space, then the letter, then another space. That is because this one is um, two. So how can we manage that? Let me think. We're coming in. And what we have to do is we have to take the first letter at the alphabet index minus one, right? Hmm. What is the index telling us? How large the, um, the whole diamond is, right? Hmm. So that means A is always just once existent. Exactly. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and everything else is always multiple times there. So what we have is the um, first string will create. We come in, how can I create this A? I have to make a space and then the letter from alphabet index minus one. Hmm. 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 Okay, so alphabet. So first we have to identify the letter that we want to add. So for var letter, oops, letter equals um, alphabet index i. So this is the letter that we want to in, uh, insert. And that would be the first letter, that would be an a exactly. So this is the first letter. And what we want to do now is we want to add a space for the string and this is our result string. So, result string that is empty at the moment. And now what we want to do is for each, for each, let me see, j equals zero. We want to say j is smaller than index. And now we want to add j. And is that true? Let me think, no, it is minus one. And now we want to add to the result string um, the double of the amount of spaces. And then we want to have the letter in the center. Is that correct? Give me a second. Wait, no, it's not that easy. Why am I talking? Is anyone, nobody here? Um, we have the A, there is a space. We go in the first row, this is the letter that we want to have, right? And we want to go till the index, which will be B. And now we want to say something like, hey, make your space exactly once Ah, sure. What we can do is for var, uh, yep, var j equals zero. And as long as, let me see, j is smaller than, smaller than index. No, wait. How long do we want to loop over the second one? Exactly once, right? And if I say now, till j is index and j++, plus plus, let's see where we're coming at. But I think that is wrong. That will not work like that. But let's see. So what I want to do is I want to take the result string and add an empty space as long as we are in this one. Can I fold that? We have a result string. Hmm, interesting question. But yeah, let's see. First, we want to do this. And after we have added that, now we want to result string. 
Um, ah, and here we have, of course, to add that. So plus, oops, plus equals, and the same plus equal the letter. And then we want to do that more or less again. Hmm. But the index will be i, so this should be equal. And that would be the start, that would be the end, and this would add the letter. So let's see where we're coming through. Oh, all tests are failing because I'm doing the twice of the amount of spaces. And additionally, it seems that the first one is also failing because if it is empty, we just should add the letter. So what is the index here? I assume the index will be one print index. So what happens now? I will get now the index where it is, zero. Okay, that is good, or one. So zero, the first index is zero. Zero is smaller than the index, which is wrong because it is exactly the same. Here would be better a do while, I assume, because the first time we have to do it, even though. So even if this i is smaller equals to index, because we have to do it at least once. So what will happen now? Still wrong? Ah, yeah, because we add now always spaces. <clears throat> because that one shouldn't be bigger than. Okay, let's see. That looks already pretty promising. But the problem is, problem is somehow I add now behind. Of course, that is the same method, so that is not a good thing. <clears throat> so, but the first test seems to be successful again. So we at least worked out the first test with a um, non-static method. And now let's see, let's take that one and I would cut that out for, uh, let's keep it for now, but still I don't like the idea that I have to loop twice behind and before, but at, until now I don't have a better solution yet. And the problem is that the second one is on the wrong space, right? So the first row seems to be working fine now, but the second row is wrong. So if we come here and we have a one inside, we're coming to the point where that one is true, right? We set the result string again to empty. That is a bad idea, I assume. Or no, that is correct because that is the second row. Then we have here B as the alphabet letter, right? Which could be even though the, no, that is correct. Yep, that is the letter. But now we have not to add any J's because as far as I understood, now we are in two. Maybe this one should be different. We want to have that I so that we reduce always the one by one. Is that correct? Ah, promising, promising, but still now we don't have that in the center. Uh, we managed it to have that, but it doesn't work like that because what we have to do now is we have to reduce. What is happening now? The problem is now we managed it to get the row but we have the problem that we have the first spaces for the first letter, but it doesn't work like that because our second one or every further going has to be more than this. So <clears throat> has to be two letters. And additionally, we have to have a space in between them. So this only works for the letter A. So something like if, i equals to zero, then we can do this. That will work. But else, what we have to do, we have to turn it a bit around because now we have spaces in front, in between, and at the end. We have spaces in front, in between, at and the end. That is interesting. Can I add that maybe equally inside? So what I can do is now we have spaces in front, which will be, hmm, interesting. Spaces in front, spaces in between, and spaces behind. So what we have to do is maybe if 
i equals to zero. Yep. Or, whoops. Or i equals to um, bop, bop, bop. index because that would be the last one. Oh, because no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Hmm, what can we do here? So we have a result string. We manage it to get the A, which is beautiful. But for the B, it doesn't work, right? Because our logic only contains this for loop in the beginning and at the end. But we don't add this letter at the end. So we loop once for the rows and for every, for every row, we have to do something specific. So I would say if we have i equals to one, if i equals to zero, then we can do this and it will work. And additionally, it will not only work for this, it will also work for the last one that we have, right? That means equals to what will be the last one index. No, uh, I see what I'm doing here. The index has to reduce, of course, after a certain while. So I can't just say I plus plus. I can do that, but I have to think about it. This one will be more tricky, I think, because what I want to do is reducing them later again. So we have one that builds up the spaces in front, but then have also to reduce them. Hmm. Maybe this is the solution that I don't say we do that all the time in the plus side, because what we have to do then is we have to reduce it again. So we have A, B, space B. Hmm. I equals to zero for index result. Let me think. That means this is A and this is B. What could I do? I can go in the center. The center is A in the beginning, the first one. But what I can do is I can also reduce that in that pair parts here because that is still the index minus one, right? Hmm. What do I know exactly? I know the index. The index is the part where we want to be in the uh, beginning, hmm. which was B instead of BB at location. Yeah, that makes sense. But the index is the first thing that I find. So that could be, for example, two or one better set. And our row knows now that it has to go, ah, the index is wrong or not necessarily wrong, but it is, it is wrong because it is, we don't, we have to make three rows if we have a one here. So how do we can say that we have to three rows? Where do we come to that three? At the moment we come to one. How would it work with two? So we have here two we would create a b c b a right so that would be index plus index minus one yes yes exactly plus index minus one mm, and i have, think i have to make this this way currently so just in case but now we should create at least three. No, we don't. Oh, now I broke it. <laughs> okay, my solution worked fine for one, but I still have to think about it. Something is still not right. So what do we get? Oh, this is working fine, cool. And now we want to have, ah, I removed the B now completely somehow. Ah, okay, because of that one here. Sure, all right. So let's see what happens. Okay. So that is working fine for the rows till the index. But what do we do with the rows after the index? So that means we have to do another for loop, I think at the moment. So I is smaller index minus one and I 
plus plus because we increase the amount of um, the increased and the result string. What do we do with the result string in that case? We create it all the time and add that result case. Yeah, okay, we have the same thing here, right? So we have also a result string. That is var, that is the reduced result string. And what we have to do here is to think about the opposite direction. So we have to reduce them now. But still I'm not happy because I don't understand how I can create the loops that I have here, which works fine, right? For A it works fine, but it doesn't work for B. How can I create the B? So if I'm at the same, I have to do something else if I'm at the same location. So I know here if the, in the, uh, if the I equals, uh, unequals index, so. Then we do this and that will be in the most of the cases right but else if it is exactly the same so i equals equals index then we have to do something else right because now we have to do twice that stuff so what we have to do here is we have to say no that is the opposite around this one is the one that is most common and that is if i equals equals zero that means now we create that for the first one and of course for the last one but the last one will be handled by the last uh, by the bottom for loop so that means we create now that we have the index zero we add that letter and go further and after that what is the else part here so else we have now two letters, right? And here we have to do something else. That means, what do we have to do? So if index is one, we have to create, for example, um, letter, space, letter. So let us do this. So result string plus equals letter. Now we add the spaces for var j equals i, j smaller than index, j plus plus. And now we create result string um, plus equals space. And I think I have to create a method for that because I do it way too often. So, uh, or let's, let's keep it for now, but not forget that we have to do that. <clears throat> okay, so now we have the letter. Hmm, let's see what happens. Okay, we get now BB because that one um says j equals i no we are zero at the moment what will happen a b b all right so we got that but now we have to solve this mystery so after we have finished off the index now we have to reduce or now we have to add at least the, the amount of uh, strings again <clears throat> so the reduced re uh, is more or less the same. We have also the letter mm -hmm. that we get, which is i in that case. Oh, I have to negative now. So the i index is now not this one anymore. It is now um, index minus one. And I think what we have to do is we have to reduce it till we are at zero minus minus. So, and with that, we reduce till we are at zero <clears throat> and we have that. And now we start more or less with the index at, for example, if we have B, we are now at A again. So, and what we want to say is more or less the same like we did here, because it is exactly the same function at the end. So that should do the trick. So, and this is reduced string, reduced string, reduced string but we have to add it to the result. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, not bad, something else. Invalid value, not in range. Okay, can live with that. So what happens now? Not in range, zero till 25, included, inclusive minus one. <clears throat> what happens here? Um, 
I think it complains here about the range because it, I, ah, uh, yeah, sure. That was a mistake of mine. Um, I can't be equals to zero. Oh, why not? Is it right? No. Oh. Single A, not in range, inclusive, minus one. Ooh, I think I can't do that for the uh, for the first and the last row. Because if the index is minus one, then I would start with zero. Zero is not part of it and it fails. No, it would start with minus one and starting to get the letter inside. Or am I wrong? Let's see what we get here. Print index minus one. Or do I change the index somewhere? No, it's just here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Zero and minus one. Okay, so we get the minus one here in that place. So if index, <clears throat> that means we have to be here a bit more careful. So if index uh, minus one equals equals minus one, then skip that. Unequal. Then skip that whole, yeah, that one. Yeah, but now we have the problem that we have to do something else, right? So if we are at the late last, at the last um, index, that means if index is zero, index equals equals zero, <clears throat> then we do that stuff here, which I anyone want to do? Oh. Oh, that is too complicated. I don't like that solution. I have to think about it more, but hey, for now it should do. What is the problem here? Okay, let me think once more. <clears throat> Pub run tests. So the first test is failing because now we try to access minus one. And that is of course stupid because if I try to access minus one, I will fail. But on the other hand, ah, I can just use the index. Yeah, sure, why not? It says anyway, if it's bigger to zero, it could be that this solves the issue already. Yes, it does, okay. And it also creates this, but the only problem is it doesn't add the spaces here. So there is still a problem. So because the index equal, I think we have to say here equal to, Hey, two tests are failing, amazing. So now it tries to access the minus one again. So that is bad. Hmm, what is happening here? Okay, that, that solves the A problem, but the problem is we don't jump into that because of that space A space. That is weird. They don't know why. So we created that B that is working fine. That stuff is good. But now we don't jump into that method here because print index, what is index now? It is one, okay? So index is one, is smaller than zero, that is false. We jump here inside, but i is e uh, unequal to zero. That is true, of course. So we have to write an else part here where we do at least this stuff here, where we add the letter all the way. So now we use the reduce result string here. And if I let that run, yeah, sad, sad face. Okay, close enough. Um, it doesn't add the whole thing. Yeah, why is it not adding it? Ah, I only do it here. Yeah, that is not good. Okay, let's try it once more. Hmm. Shorter than expected at location two. Yeah, sure, that's true. So do we come here, print, test. Mm, 
No, do we don't. Okay. Why? It is not zero. Ah, is it zero? Is it going? Uh. No. Do we come in any case here into that for loop? No. Okay. So what? What is the index again? One. One. I is one. Now that is not a problem. Why do we don't come here inside? Do we change the index up here? No, I don't think so. So we have to print index, which is one. And that works fine. But now why does this not work? That is I, for example, let's see. And if I add here four, I never jumps in. That here is to I has to be bigger than zero, of course. Now everything makes a bit more sense. Okay, and the problem now is that we are going back to the index, which then is afterwards subtracted, which is not the case. So we have to do it in front and now we should have the A here. No, still not. Mm, let me see, print I. Now we should come here at least. Whoa, that comes a bit often. Ah, yeah, sure, I have to. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> still, huh? I forgot to save. No, yeah, sure. Okay, we get still one, but actually we want to have that i is negative. So I assume this should work, but apparently it doesn't. Okay. Hmm. Okay, what can we do? Can I? No, I can't because I want to see that that is inside. But what I can do is I can just reduce it and have here minus one minus one uh, that's a lot of work minus one and i think that's it for now let's see what happens so now we have a space space a close enough but the problem is i want to have space a space ah because that is of course i minus one yep here we go Good, so that looks super ugly, um, super ugly, really. <laughs> so the first thing that I would like to do is because, ah, oh, but I don't know if they are working yet. Hmm. There are good things that we can improve, I think, but let's see. Let's first finish that off and see if we get actually something working here. So I turn that to false, let it run and see that some tests are failing. So now we get, ah, all right, I make a space in front and just one space in. <laughs> okay, but with C it works again, it seems. Ah, but I do one too much. No, I, actual, expected. Ah, all right. So I'm doing exactly always the same amount and then B is again a lot and A is nearly the same. Interesting. Okay, but as you see, the diamond function is not yet perfect. So what is the problem? If we are here, let's go up. Uh, can I close that down? Perfect. Okay, so have a look. The result we have here, we have a result string that is empty string. We have a letter that is an alphabet letter. And cool. 
now we add the A that works perfectly fine. Now with the B, we have to add in front of it because it is not, it is not, I is not index. Wait, zero is here. With If we have only A, we have here zero. But what I want to say here is, ah, it's only because our else part is not correct yet. Because what we have to do is we have to add these parts and these parts. And now we have to calculate a bit more. Mm, I see the problem here. I see the problem. So now we add two in front and two in the back. But this starts somewhere else. It needs to start at... Hmm, we know that is we know the row that we are in, right? That is I. And the row that we are in defines the letter uh, the spaces that we have to do. <clears throat> so in the letter in the first one we have three uh one two one two. In the second one we have one and in the last one we have zero. So we know the index is two. This is minus one. Hmm. How do we solve that? The first one expected is space, B space, B space. So this one has to be from the I that is zero. Then we have two, right? One, two. So this is for, ah, yeah, okay. The first one is anyway gone. So if we have an I from one, then I from one minus the index is the space. So index minus I could be correct. Let's see if it works. Okay, that looks good. Much promising. And now the same thing for here or and I assume the same thing for here because they are having all the same amount of spaces or missing spaces. Cool. And the same thing would be applied for C, but here we have another problem. It looks like we create here two, 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 but we want to actually go outside. That means instead of increasing this, we want to reduce it for that. And even better though, what do we actually want to do? We want to reduce the amount, so we have to do that bigger again. We have to minus minus that one. So now we remove that completely because index minus y would reduce it, but we want to increase it by one, uh, not by one, by i. Is that correct? It sounds correct. Mm -hmm. But we increase now mm, y. So if the index is 2, right, we additionally add i to it. So in that case, it is 1, 2, which makes it to 2. And that means this is 4. So j is 4. The index is i. Ah, so we add two. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. But we want to reduce something here and we want to reduce the I minus one. Ah, that can't be. I think that is wrong. Yeah. Not minus one. By what do we want to reduce it? Hmm. Let's see, so A is correct, B is correct, Cur perfect. So now the C is wrong and B is wrong again. Okay, but this is the lowering. So if we do this correct, we can do the up again again, correct. <clears throat> so the question is now, what do I calculate here? I is the index of the row. So I know this is zero, one, two. And I know that I want to reduce the amount of spaces by the amount of eyes. So if I have the 
the row, the current index is two, and I want to know, mm -hmm. it's bigger than zero maybe, and then we have to reduce it to zero. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. All right, so maybe this is the solution because we want to go down to zero with that. And if this and this is already zero, then it doesn't do anything. All right, and the same thing we have to do for the uh, um, behind and also uh, and in between it, we are correct. Is that the solution for that? Uh, close, we get now three in the middle. Why? So the same thing applies here, right? We want to have one, so zero, one, two. So we want to add here one, and here we have three. So we want to add two to it. How can we imply that? So we have here two, that would be the index, right? So we want to add the index to it. And what we want to also add is the number of rows. No. <laughs> what happened now? Okay, that, that was wicked. <clears throat> so we have the index which is one two two and we are in the second one so that means we reduce it to zero j is zero j zero is smaller than index index is two but why just index it needs to be index plus um, plus i i think oh wait no not plus y just plus one? Could that be? Ah, that looks promising, but it's not. And here, ah, okay, yep. Yeah. So we add now the one in front and two in the center. That is amazing. But why do we have two in the center? Hmm. We have now two in the center, but I just want to have one. So it ha I can't just add here one, I think. That's too easy. I have to add something specific. So we have here two, then we have one. That is perfect. And here we miss one because we have... Hmm. What is the index that we need here in the middle? The index minus one. Let me think. We need three. So we are in the first one, we have one. In the second one, we have three. In the third one, we have five. <clears throat> okay, so index is two and i is two, which means it's zero. Zero is smaller than the index and the index is two. But actually we want to have the index, Not we don't want to check against the index or if we are in the first one, we have want to have one. So we want to have i plus one ah, or i plus, I mm. don't oh, know, perfect i plus one is the case because i is zero one two and now we want to have three and here we want to have one and this is one plus one ah but i reduce it by i ah yep 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 that's the case okay cool that looks good all right so now to the second part where we reduce it again and here we want to reduce now the first one. So if i equals this is that, but here we want to go further. So we have a letter and now we do the same thing again, right? So actually we do the same thing like we did here in the center, but the opposite direction, I think. So what we want to do is instead of zero minus one, what is that? Zero minus one, why?
that makes not so much sense, I think. And here it looks also wrong. Hmm. If I'm coming in with an index of one, then I reduce i from it, which says that we have one too much because of the plus one. What would happen if I do something like this? Still too much. The index is one and we want to go till the row, which is also one plus one. How did I save again? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we have two green tests, so. Hmm. The index is one. Is it the row plus two? I heavily doubt it, but maybe three and two. No, now I is always one, a zero somehow. I know I reduce it by the index. That is the problem. Whew, I didn't do it for a long time. So let's see, what do we want to do here? We want to think. Okay, the first for the first row, everything is clear. For the second row, we want to have one. And for the third row, for the next row, we want to have three, five, and so on. Seven, nine. That means it is always plus two from something. So we have one would be the first row, right? So the index E is one at that moment. And the index E is two in that case. So it is one, there it is two, there it would be three. Interesting. Ah, the index of the row is. That means I have the index of the row is one. Then I add zero. No, then I add one. Wow. So the index is one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play some music. Uh, helps me to. Uh, why not? Okay. We have now a for loop, and for each in between of these letters, we have one, which is exactly the index. No, first we have zero, then we have one then we have three and then we have we have to before plus two one plus two mm -hmm. maybe this helps us so that would be index minus one plus two so that would be Zero plus two. No, that is too much. That's wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> Sad. Sad. <laughs> okay. Now I'm playing around. That is not good. I don't solve the issue here. <clears throat> so let's remove that for now just to get an empty state and where I can think. Okay, now we want to have one. So let's add four var, let's call it index equals to zero. And no, not index, give it something else like uh, j, yeah, why not? So if j or better um, space between, well, because that should be the space in between that we need, space between is smaller than what the index because that would be index would be one 
and with one space. So let's say index. And now we want to now the result letter. Oops, stream was dying for a short second. Sorry for that. So the result string add empty space. O one O one Okay, so we go inside with a zero. Ah Okay, here is a missing thing, so let's see where we're coming at. Okay, now we add one too much, right? But only for the B case. Because somehow I add now two. Which is, yeah, because that is not space till the index. Whoops, no, that is even more wrong. <clears throat> okay, we add now two. Why? We have zero and one. Okay, zero, one, both getting added. That is too much because what we want to add actually is just index minus one. Cool, but now the second one is wrong again because we want to add not index minus one. The space between is the index, so that would be one, there it would be two. And then we want to add one, so index plus one. Now it's getting, ah, geez, now this is not here, that is zero. We want to be here, index plus one. No. <laughs> ah, my head, what is going on? I really have to do that more often. It's so sad that I take that long time. So we have here a space one, just two. That is correct. So. We have zero and we want to only go to the index. Don't get it. Why it's getting now more. Why we have three now here. Zero, one is the index two in some kind of weird kind of places. Can't be. Okay, print index, let's see. Two, we get the index two. Interesting, why is the index two? Oh, okay, so for the first one it's index one. And even though we get two, so zero and one. If I remove that, is the first one working? Yes, so the first one is working. It's just the last test that is failing. There the question is, because there is the index two. Ah, the index is the letter index. That is where the alpha is coming from. <laughs> that is the index of the um, the letter that is the problem and now with that we get now different values uh, I mistakenly took the index as part of the row but the row actually is the index I and with that we get now the correct values that we want to add ah much better <laughs> ah that took me so much time all right cool so that means now we have made it that there is a space but what we also want to do is we want to reduce it by something and we want to reduce it by index minus one. Uh, is it that? Whoop, what is wrong? Ah, so that uh, I called it different. It's now at the index letter minus one. And now we reduce it here completely. That is wrong. Here is it now one and okay, that behind is anyway wrong. Okay, let's see. 
So the first letter is correct. The second letter needs a space. So let me think, how can we add that second letter? That is wrong, of course. So I can remove that. The index letter should be two, which makes no sense here in that case. So that could be zero for now. But what we want to do here is to say that we have the index either. So the amount of rows, so zero, one, two, and now we want to add one. So that means we add here a plus one. No? Ah, sure, because uh, for the first one, it is correct. <clears throat> so we have to be dynamic here. Mm. So that is zero, one, and here we want to have three. Where do we get that one, additionally one? No, we have to subtract one, right? Hmm. Why is it so hard for me at the moment? So I is space between. We know that is zero, that index. So that means we go till the i value and we have one, so we add one. But everything above needs to be reduced by something because here we have two, but we need to add one additional. So how can we do that by adding? The value before? Hmm. How would it look for the fourth one? So we would have one, uh, zero, one, two, three. That would be three. And we have space between which is zero. So we have three spaces, but actually we would need five. So the next one would add up. Hmm. Three fives, uh, but this is a two row, so I don't understand. I want to add actually I and for the first one, and then I would like to add I plus two for everything else. Hmm. So this is the row, the index, index of row. Okay. <clears throat> now we know the index of the row. So this is the index of the space before, space behind. Then we're coming into the else part where we also have the space in front. And now we want to add here this space in between. And this is, for the first one, it's anyway something completely different. That makes sense. But then we are coming to the place where we have to add in front a space that is happening here, which is working fine. Ah. Um, hmm, right. We want to add space in front and remove it also. So we go slow, slowly down. Does it help me? Hmm. We have the index letter minus index row here. So the index letter is in that case two. And the index row is in that case one. So why do I don't use this as my index? That is the space between. We have to increase that by this plus so and now wait slowly slowly we want to have exactly the index letter index row so this takes the space in front so we know now that these are the amount that we get as the space in front and now we want to have that here nope now we reduce that in the center. We could add that. Let's see what now happens. Now we have to double. Now we have three in the first one because index row 
is the first one and index letter is two. So how do we make that? That is not so hard, I think. Do I really have to do something like an if statement? Like um, if the index row equals to one, but what is the index letter? is two and index row is in that case one. So if we are on the first row, if index row equals one, then we do something else. Uh, that doesn't feel right, but I do it now just to see if it works. So if the index one, then we have, uh, yeah, what do we have? Just one. Right, we just want to add one space else. We want to add a lot of spaces. So it will be the thing that I had before. So index letter plus index row. But the index row is now two. But we want to have three. Why do I do it so complicated? That looks good. I hope this is not the solution because I feel so bad with that. We have the space between which is smaller. Okay. And we add that now. Um, okay, let's let's see if this works out. So and for the negative one, now we have to reduce that again. Now we have the problem that of course our function is not working correctly because here we have the index letter which is fine we have here the row again but now we have to reduce the rows right so we go from here one step always back and now what we have to do is we have to reduce it again so that is not the case so we go here and now we have to think that means what we have here is we want to reduce what is that actually that looks weird can I not just say minus one? That worked pretty well for, yeah. Okay, so we add the letter, we add another letter, but what we don't do is we don't add spaces in front or in the back of it. So we have to do nearly the same as above. So like this and the other one. but in the different direction, right? We have to make a space in front and behind. So, and instead of the index row, we have now the um, I, is it just? And the result string is the reduced result string. Yep, and this is I. So let's see what we get now. It should look pretty weird after now, okay. So we have now there nothing. So let's see, we add the letter, we have the loop, we add another letter. Hmm, all right. So what do we do here? We are jumping here inside. We have an index letter minus I. So that means index letter is in that case, the, Ah, yeah, the letter that we got from above. So that means this is two. And now we reduce it by the rows that we are inside. So if we are in the row four, no, ah, no, this is I, that is the row that we are getting from there away. So this is one in that case. So index letter is two, and this is one. With that, we reduce it by one. And now J is bigger than zero, which it is, then we reduce it by one. So we should go inside here at least once. Or J is bigger than, or yeah, it, it should go inside. Let's, let's take a look. Let's have a look. So we go at least once inside. And as you can see, we have also a space in front, but only if I make here uh, an equal sign. So that means we have here already zero. The index letter is two and we reduce i from it. 
And I said that I is the index letter. Ah, ah we have to reduce it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're coming here inside, we make the space, good. So, and now for this one, we tend to have a minus one here, which makes not so much sense, or? So as long as J is smaller than the index letter, so J is the amount that we have here, which is minus one at the moment, which makes really not so much sense. Yeah, so now we have three, and this is the same logic problem that we have here, only in a different way. So we have to reduce it now. So if we are in the first one, we have just one space in between. That means here we have to say if i, is it i? Uh, no, it, yeah, i is equal to one then we have only one letter that we add here. Mm -hmm. Only one letter that we add. Else we do something else, but this comes with the next task, I assume, because now what will happen is that this test should be green. Jeez, no. If i equals one, which is not the case because we are coming in with zero, is that right? No. Ah, this one is wrong. Okay, we have B, B is equal to B. Why the fuck is this with my controls? Why the fuck is this with my Is this really the case? No, or that can't be. Let's let's see if the rest of the tests are working the same. Mm -hmm. No, okay. So B is fine, C is wrong again, D is wrong again, one to less. C is wrong again. Hmm. Why is it so, dang it. I didn't thought that it would be that complicated. What is wrong with me? Hmm. So A is correct, B is correct, interesting. It looks pretty fine. The C has a problem. So with C, we get now a lot of too much spaces here. That can't be, why? Why is that so much? So that means this logic is wrong all over the place again. So what I will do is I copy that for now. And maybe I just tricked my brain a bit. 
So what happens now is we get one space in front, but just one space in between, and we are going higher. So something is wrong with that. We shouldn't go higher, we should go lower. Hmm. Ba, 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 ba. So if this is one, what do we actually do here? Index letter. So what do we do? We have index letter, which is the th one is one, two, three, four, four. And the index row is two. In the first row, it will be one. Is that correct? Print index letter, print index row and make it a name in front. Yep. Where are we? So we have index letters always free. Okay, we know that. And now we have the index row, which is one, two, three. Ah, it is never zero. Interesting. Okay, but we know now one, no, one. Ah, zero is A. Okay, so one, two, three. Cool, I understand. And now in the center, we want to make spaces. One, three, five. One, this is three, and this is five. Okay, guys, uh, I will not solve that today. Um, sorry, too tired. Somehow my brain doesn't work correctly, I think. So I will skip that for today and we'll leave it for tomorrow. And let's see if I'm more awake then and then we can try to do it again. But somehow I struggled myself with too much code, I think. And now I'm a bit in a mess here. <laughs> so sorry, guys, and enjoy your evening and we see us.